What if most of what you've been told in the media about psychedelics is wrong? Have we been misled about the medicinal properties of psychedelics just like we were misled about medicinal marijuana? More than 40 years ago, governments worldwide made psychedelics illegal, calling them dangerous drugs. But the most dangerous drugs on earth are alcohol and nicotine, and both are legal. The law is not based on science. For thousands of years, native cultures have used psychedelics not as drugs, but as medicines. And science is on their side. Numerous studies show that psychedelics are not neurotoxic. They're non-addictive, and they have the power to cure even the most stubborn cases of anxiety, depression, addiction, and post-traumatic stress disorder. When people with treatment-resistant PTSD were given the psychedelic MDMA combined with psychotherapy, 83% were cured. Compare that to just 25% with psychotherapy alone. With 22 veterans a day committing suicide in the U.S., it's vital this medicine is made available to the public. The caffeine in your coffee is more toxic on your body than psilocybin mushrooms. The science shows these non-addictive substances actually slow down activity in areas of the brain overactive in people with depression. In one study by the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine, 80% of subjects who were given psilocybin said the experience increased their sense of well-being and life satisfaction, and 30% called it the single most important experience of their lives. Psilocybin has cured anxiety, depression, cluster headaches, and smoking addictions. One study from the University of Southern Florida found psilocybin may even lead to neurogenesis, or the regrowth of brain cells. In the 1950s, doctors in Canada used LSD to cure alcoholism, with a 45% success rate. Even Bill Wilson, who founded Alcoholics Anonymous, used LSD to cure his debilitating depression. Wilson unsuccessfully tried to get LSD added to the 12-step program, saying its ability to spark introspection and spirituality was the essential first step. And a recent study shows LSD significantly reduced anxiety in people with terminal illness. A study finds long-term use of the psychoactive cactus peyote does not cause cognitive or psychological harm. Peyote use is legal in six states across the U.S., and Native Americans have consumed the plant for hundreds of years to connect with a deep sense of spirituality. DMT, or dimethyltryptamine, is a psychedelic compound produced profusely in nature and even inside the human brain. In one study, Dr. Rick Strassman proved DMT can be safely given to people. Those who participated in Strassman's study reported having intense spiritual experiences and communicating with a higher intelligence while on DMT. Ibogaine is derived from a West African shrub, and it's known for helping people kick stubborn heroin and prescription pill addictions without experiencing withdrawal. The science shows long-term drinkers of the Amazonian psychedelic brew ayahuasca have increased levels of serotonin. That's the brain chemical that regulates happiness, and ritual ayahuasca drinkers are less likely to have addictions. Western medicine tends to just treat symptoms, ignoring the root cause of many illnesses, trauma. We've all had trauma, and when we don't process it and purge it from our minds, trauma manifests itself in our bodies as unexplained pain, sickness, depression, anxiety, PTSD, cancer, the list goes on and on. When taken with the right mindset in a safe setting, psychedelics can heal trauma. When people consume these medicines, they enter a dreamlike state where a lifetime of traumatic memories are unlocked and processed, detaching the fear and emotion from the memories and creating new neural pathways. Some describe psychedelics as 30 years of therapy in one night. One of the greatest human rights tragedies of this century is that the general population does not have access to these medicines. Journalist Graham Hancock noted, 
quote, at the deepest level, our consciousness is what we are. To the extent that if we are not sovereign over our own consciousness, then we cannot, in any meaningful sense, be sovereign over anything else either. Psychedelics are empowering. They put the power back into your hands and show you you can heal yourself from within.